I wonder if I could do something about a bar on my show. Now, that would be interesting. They're all over the United States and very universal. I wonder how it would start. Hmm. Not respectable. <laughs> Drinking's not respectable. How can you say that? <laughs> if the brother of the president of the United States of America can take a few beers, <laughs> why can't I? <laughs> oh, what do you know? All you know I do is sit and drink and put that poison in your system. If I was your woman, I wouldn't let you drink that. We'd have a house in the country. We'd have the kids running around, going to college. We'd go to Disneyland. Ooh. Ooh. What are you talking about? <laughs> huh? Why, why don't you talk about something you know about? Huh? <laughs> like drinking. <laughs> Drink to be sociable. Sociable? <laughs> sociable? She spent more time in here than the bartender. <laughs> you spend a lot of time in here, too. <laughs> All you do, you come in, you sit down by yourself, you be drinking, you don't do nothing. What can you do? Huh? for you, Willie. You're drunk. Ah, <laughs> uh, what? Huh? I'm drunk? <laughs> I'm drunk, baby. I'm one of your best customers. I come in, I drop $50, $60 a week up in here, baby. You know how hard my old lady has to work for that money? <laughs> I'm not drunk either. <laughs> How are you going to get drunk off of 3.2 whiskey? <laughs> huh? You think we don't know? You putting water in the whiskey? We had them beating on it. <laughs> the whole town's talking about it. The whole town's whole town. talking about it. Everybody's talking about it. <laughs> yeah. I know what it is. You president. You a big act. <laughs> He's prejudiced against black drunk people. <laughs> Look, give everybody a drink. Look, here, hey, hold up. Hold it. Get a drink. Let's come on. Give her a drink. Give one. Give him a, Give her a pillow. <laughs> get two drinks. There's three. Give me two. Get, somebody ain't gonna get one. <laughs> and put this on my account. Yeah. On account, I ain't got no money. <laughs> Willie, every Friday night it's the same thing. You come in here, you get drunk, you go into the john, you get sick all over all the other drunks. <laughs> <laughs> and then he loses his car keys in the jukebox. <laughs> That's my part of this. <laughs> Never mind. Look, if you ain't drunk, I can see you walk straight line. Say what? Walk straight line. You ain't said nothing. Well, I can walk a line on my head, baby. I'll walk it if you let her draw it. Yeah. <laughs> I draw it. I draw it with you, baby. I draw it with you. Yeah. You gonna draw it, baby? You always must volunteer. <laughs> no, Mom! What are you doing? Making a fool out of yourself again, woman. Hey, wait a minute, buddy, mister. This is a lady person. You shut up. Uh, now, what are you doing? Now, where's the food money? You're supposed to be out there food shopping. He spent... Say, woman, what the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> Man, what? You talking to my woman? <laughs> Say, buddy. 
shorty. You in a world of trouble now. That's right. You done messed with the kid, man. Come on, woman. Oh, I don't know what I would have done to you. Come along, Daddy. Somebody say 10. <laughs> say, man, what? Did he hit you, too? Come on, Willie. Huh? You had your fun. Had fun? You call that fun? Come on, you got to go home now. If I got to go home, baby, you check for me. I don't want to have to kill nobody, you know what I mean? <laughs> okay, Willie. Let's go straight ahead. Straight ahead. Keep the change. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow, Willie. Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm gonna see me tomorrow. <laughs> My woman find out, uh-oh, I'm in trouble. I know she gonna kill me. She's just gonna kill me. Then she gonna talk me back to life. Then she gonna kill me again. <laughs> I don't wanna get sick, Lord, please. Help me get over this one, I'll get over the next one by myself. <laughs> I need that. Garbage man was here today. <laughs> hey, baby, open the door. Woo-hoo. Baby. Hey, baby. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Good morning to you. <laughs> Good morning to you. Really? Look at you, baby. I ain't got time Look to stand up and listen to it, baby. <laughs> Willie. Why do you drink so much, Willie? You had a nice time at the party? <laughs> I know the bartender had a good time. Oh. He loves you, too, I bet, Willie. He loves you as much as uh, the landlord loves you, the telephone company, and the corner grocery man. Oh, they don't understand you. They don't appreciate your generosity. Well, they don't know how you balance the economy, Willie. <laughs> no bar in a radius of two square miles can go broke because you spread your money around fairly. Of course, you spread yourself around, too. But uh, who suffers? Me? Don't worry about me, Willie. I get along. I get to sit here and talk to you intimately like, like this every night. <laughs> and I get to see you in the morning, sick, tired, and disgusted. You know, my social worker asked me, why I stay with you. How can I explain to her that I see you like you were on your f that first date? You were so sassy. Your shoulders used to ride high like the breasts of young girls. And you used to call me things that sound like I was something good to eat. Honey, baby, sweetie. You said, marry me, I'll make you a queen. And then I remember at the courthouse, when we went to get married, you got very uptight. I was so happy, I didn't really want to notice it. But later you said, when the judge called you by your first name, he may as well have called you boy. I, th I thought you were being too sensitive. And then you lost your first job. And then you lost your second job. And then I watched you time and again go up to that welcome table and come back with dry bones. And you knew I was watching you too, Willie. And then you called yourself a nigger. And I said, oh, honey, don't call yourself that. And you said, no, no, it's an affectionate term. I can use it, but nobody else can use it. 
And then you called me a nigger, Willie. And then if there was ever any affection in it, it disappeared. Because you started using it to curse me, to curse yourself, to curse the whole race. To curse life, Willie. And then the booze. The booze began to take my place. It was closer than a friend and truer than a wife. And booze doesn't ask questions. <laughs> and then what do I do, Willie? What do I do? I hate you. I hate you. I hate wondering if maybe some fool who thinks as little of himself as you will be driving a car when you step off the curb one night. And I hate wondering if that booze is going to make you think you're Muhammad Ali and you say the wrong thing to the right person. I hate you. I hate you <laughs> until you come home, Willie. And then when you come home, I love you, Willie. I know you're not, you're not what you wanted to be, Willie. And you're not what I wanted it to be, but I'm yours, Willie. And you're mine. And when I forget that, there ain't nothing else worth remembering. <laughs>